Hi, I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. Today I want to talk to you about some products that I've just have been having trouble getting through. Most of them are because I don't like them. They're all, of course, clean products. If you're interested in seeing some body and deodorant and skincare and that's mostly it, a couple other products as well, please keep watching. Of course, I'd really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribed. You could hit the ring bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna start with some body care products. The first one being this, the Super Salve Company with ground flowers and shea butter. It's a sugar scrub. I love the idea of a sugar scrub. I always want to treat my body as nicely as I do my face, and I feel like there just aren't a lot of good products out there to do that. So I picked this up at a local natural store. I can't think of the name of it right now. It's in Denver. If I think of it, I'll put the name on the screen. Anyway, this seemed like it'd be great. I think it's sugar. Yeah, it's sugar crystals in it, but it is so hard that I couldn't hardly use it. When I got in the shower, I had to dig. It would get all under my nails. I mean, I had to like really dig to get it out. And then rubbing it all over my body, it wouldn't just melt in and rub smoothly. I I just really had to almost scrub and hurt myself with it. And after that, to rinse it off was fine, but it made the whole floor of my shower really slippery. So I just, this is, I, I just can't even finish it. Also, I don't like the scent. It's older now and it may have gone bad, but I never really cared for the scent. So there's really nothing about this product that can force me to finish it up. Next, I have this Win Windrift Hill Moisturizing Goat Milk Lotion in the scent Plum Crazy. It's for hand and body. I believe I got this at a farmer's market in Vail, Colorado. And I love the idea of it. Of um, I love a goat milk lotion. I find that I really like them. They work well with my skin. But this was really thin and light. And the scent is overpowering. And I just feel like if you're going for something more natural, you don't want an overpowering scent. I like it when I sniff it in in the bottle, but then when I put it on, it just lingers for far too long and is overpowering for me. And it wasn't particularly moisturizing. And like I said, it's super thin. So unfortunately, this is, I'm not gonna be able to work my way through this either. I really try, I actually try to use up all the products I get, even though I have a lot, I really do try to work my way through them, even if they're not my favorite. But when a product is just overwhelmingly scented and permeates and it is ineffective, I just, I can't do it. It's too bad of an experience. I end up sneezing the whole time and I have to use something else to moisturize. Which leads me to the next product, the Necessaire Body Lotion, which is fragrance free. I love the idea of this and I kind of love this product and yet I haven't used it up. It's completely scent free, which is fantastic. It's a nice lotion. I'm almost finished, I see. A completely scent free it's a nice texture it's lighter weight almost of a gel consistency but it still is moisturizing and I don't know why I don't reach for it I wanted it because it's scent free but I think I don't use it because it's scent free so maybe I'm difficult it's got to be that fine line of a nice scent that's not going to linger and be overpowering but the experience of using these products also really matters a lot I do absolutely recommend this. If you're a person who's sensitive to scents and like a lighter lotion that probably I wouldn't say is great for the winter time, but certainly for summer going into fall, this is great. I just haven't been able to work through it. I've just found that there are other lotions that I prefer and I really think a lot of it has to do with the scent, which is crazy and I don't know, hypocritical. I get it. One more body lotion I wasn't able to figure up. Figure up. Use Up is the 100% pure, it's actually a body butter, and this is the Coconut Lime Whipped Body Butter. I actually love this product. I love the Coconut Lime, but what happened is I just didn't get through it in time, and with these natural products, they do go bad. It still smells good, but the consistency is completely different. I love this. My whole family loves 100% Pure's lotions and body butters. This is great for dry elbows and heels, just more where you're dry. I use it all over my body, 
but it, we just didn't get it used up in time. I tend to buy these like 10 at a time when 100% Pure has a sale, which they often do, and I stocked up too much. So be careful with that when you see a sale and think you want to go get a bunch of your favorite product. If it's natural, it's not going to have the same preservatives that the conventional beauty products will have and they will go bad. They're usually fine if you keep them closed or sealed, you know, you haven't opened them yet, but we had obviously opened this and didn't get through it, so that's sad. Next, I have some deodorants. One is Speak. It's a deodorant cream. It comes in an aluminum container, which is recyclable, and there it is. It is hard. It's, it's like deodorant consistency. It's not soft like a cream or anything. It's definitely harder. You have to it would be better if it came with some kind of a little spoon or something spatula to get it out. You instead use your fingers, dig in, and put it under your arms. I don't enjoy that process, but that alone wasn't enough to keep me from using it. I thought, well, it's still a great idea, a lot less waste than the push-up kind of deodorants. I like the idea. Of course, it's natural. This is one of my birthday presents that I just love. It's a magnifying glass that's a necklace and it's from the Metropolitan Museum. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and see. This is baking soda free. It is scented with lavender, which if you've ever seen my channel, I'm not a lavender fan. Let's see. It's not tested on animals and it expires in three months, which I don't know if that's a long time or a short time for deodorant, but it seems like a short time. Bottom line, it wasn't effective either. So between not liking the experience of scooping it out and putting it under my arms, not liking the scent, which is lavender, and it being ineffective, I can't force myself to finish this. Why would I? Why would I put myself through that? Why would I put my family and those around me through that? It's a shame, but I will empty all these products out and recycle what I can. Two more deodorants. The first is the Kapari Coconut Oil Deodorant. I love the way this smells. It smells so good. It really, for me, is a perfume, and that's it. It has a beautiful texture that glides on like a perfume bar, and it smells so good. That Maybe that's what I should keep and use it for. I think I'm going to hold on to this one, not declutter it. I'm going to keep it and use it as perfume. Uh, under my arms, it was sticky, didn't deodorize, uh, you know, that's the end, period. Smelled lovely, did nothing, and was sticky. So can't use that as deodorant, but I am going to keep it as a perfume. I'm glad I just realized that because it smells beautiful. Finally, deodorants is Tom's. This is their 48-hour odor and wetness protection. It's an antiperspirant deodorant, so maybe this one isn't quite as clean as I thought. Actually, it's okay. I bought this for my son because he's 15 and sweaty and stinky and wants a deodorant that smells good and I normally wouldn't do this kind of artificial fragrance which I believe the Kapari is as well. Anyway, I normally wouldn't do this kind of thing but I thought whatever I could get him in the right direction I'm willing to start with but he hated it, passed it off to me and guess what? He was right. It's terrible. Just like the Kapari, all it does is smell, I don't think it smells particularly nice but he liked the scent. It smells nice I guess, perfumey and it's just sticky under your arms. This is just a flat out declutter. I have one moisturizer for the face and I think this will not surprise you if you've ever seen my channel. This is the Beauty Counter Nourishing Night Cream. They have repackaged. I don't believe they've changed formulas. There's still some left in here. I thought about saving this and using it on my hands. It's scent free, which is nice, but there it's pointless. It does nothing. I don't know why they call it a night cream. I wouldn't even call it a cream. It's more of a gel consistency doesn't moisturize. I've always try to push things up, these things off on other members of my family because I don't want to waste the products and no one else will use it. It's just terrible. So this is just being decluttered. Next, I have a face wash. This is a Cure Radically Rejuvenating Cleansing Cream. It's a foaming, creamy facial cleanser that is also supposed to be moisturizing and remove makeup. I really like Acura as a brand and I love how easily accessible this is. I got this at the King Supers, so you know just at the regular grocery store here in Colorado. The scent is almost peppery in my opinion. Mint, it says it does have mint, um, and it's a green color and it's more like, you know, it's a cream cleanser and I find this to be 
very drying, like very drying. And if you get it near your eyes, holy cow, don't open them. So I don't like a face wash that is going to burn my eyes like crazy because I also wash my eyes with it. It says it will remove makeup. I always assume that includes eye makeup. That's usually the tough part. And it's a cream cleanser, so I thought it'd be moisturizing or at least non-drying, and it was drying. So this is a fail on all rounds. The scent actually is okay, but otherwise, I, I, I can't use it. Maybe I could save it and use it as a body wash. I think that's what I'll do. Hopefully, it won't be too drying on my body. Another cleanser I'm having a hard time getting through, but for not the same reason, is the French Girl Le de Rose Vitamin C Polishing Wash. This actually is lovely. It's a, a glass container. It's powder form. You shake it, pour some in your hand, add water, and it sort of foams, and you just put it all over your face. It's exfoliating, but gentle. They're, it's a powder, so the more you rub gently, um, they kind of dissolve, so it's a light exfoliator, physical exfoliating wash, and I really like it. It has a nice light rose scent. It's a beautiful product. I'm just having a hard time getting through it because I love masks and I love my chemical exfoliators. I'm just having a hard time fitting it in my routine. I hope, I think I'll eventually finish it, but I'm just getting through it really, really slowly. Next is the Pacifica Coconut Water Micellar Cleansing Tonic. This is my first experience with a micellar water and I'm just not impressed. What I find is I have to use a cotton round and really saturate it. Like probably, you know, use almost half, this is a sample size by the way, but use almost half the bottle just to saturate it and then rub it around my skin. I don't like to do that. I like emulsifying products that I don't have to use a washcloth or cotton round to rub on my skin because aging. It's ineffective in removing makeup and it just seems wasteful to me. I would just rather use a regular cleanser. The scent itself is nice, but it smells really artificial. It's like a coconut Hawaiian kind of scent. So I think I'll save it to maybe wipe off when I swatch makeup on my arm. You know, maybe I'll keep this by my when I'm filming, by me when I'm filming, and just use this on a cotton round to wipe that off. But otherwise, I don't really have a use for this. And not crazy about the perfumey scent, and it's ineffective. Another product in the same vein is the Dr. Hauschka Eye Makeup Remover. This is in a glass container. It is supposed to cleanse gently and thoroughly, removing even waterproof makeup. So it's one of those typical kinds that's like oil and looks like water on the top. You shake it before you use it. You dump it onto a cotton round. This product also, you I did manage to use it up. You use a lot of it, in my opinion. You really saturate the cotton round. <clears throat> it doesn't... It's not effective immediately. You really have to hold it and kind of press it to your eye. And even then, nothing's really coming off. So I really found that I had to work it in and swipe. And there was just a lot of tugging. It burned my eyes. I feel like if you're going to have an eye product, it shouldn't burn your eyes. It burns. So I just didn't care for this. It was a super light scent, which was nice. I really like Dr. Hauschka's line. But... I would not recommend this and I'm not going to repurchase it, but I was able to force myself to use it up. Just ineffective and wasteful. I just kind of feel like, I said this in a recent video, I don't think it's a scam, my makeup remover, but I think you can just use a good emulsifying cleanser and your regular cleanser and you should be good. I don't think we need a special cleanser for eyes, but I do have one more. This is We Love Eyes and it's a jojoba seed oil grapeseed oil and tea tree leaf oil cleanser for eyes and it's little but this is full size you only need like two drops on your fingers rub them together and rub them over your eyes and it's just an oil cleanser that's sold specifically for your eyes you definitely need to go in afterwards with a second cleanse to remove all that oil it works okay you're supposed to put it on a cotton round i never do i just use my fingers and rub it around I don't think it's more effective than any other oil oil cleanser I have, and it does not burn my eyes though, so that is something good, and this is a glass container with a dropper, so once I declutter it, I could certainly save it if I think of something to use it for, but I do like that aspect. They do sell a foaming eye cleanser, and I love that one, but the oil to me, I like I said, I just prefer my other oil cleansers that I use all over my whole face. 
Since I'm talking about eyes, I'm gonna talk about the 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream. I actually love this. It's moisturizing, it smells so good like vanilla, and it smooths out nicely. I have no complaints about it. The only thing is, it's huge for an eye cream. That's big, and I just didn't get through it all. That's the only thing. I have been using it on the back of my hands as um, you know, a moisturizer, but it's just with these natural products, you don't wanna hold on to them too far after their expiration. It still smells good, but I just don't think I need to do that. I have other eye creams I'm using, but I do like this one. So I think that's sort of the warning here is with the natural products, both of which were 100% pure for me, they give they, that give you plenty of product, you gotta use it. You should do that with all your products, but especially the natural ones, like 100% pure, they'll go bad. This is an eye product that's makeup. It's RMS Uncover Up. I had the color 22. Let's see here, can't really see it, but it's a, a glass container with a metal top, and there it is right there. RMS's products are natural. I believe they're even organic. This is all coconut oil based, and I just didn't like it. I didn't like it under my eyes. It is so shiny and it's sort of translucent. I had to powder it a lot and then I looked old. I liked it better as a foundation. I would pat it all over my, you know, put it all around my face, but I'd still wanna powder it and then I have other foundations that I just like better. So I love the idea of this, but I just don't like the product. I think you can hear some background noise. My son came in, he's been petting the dog, then he went out and he came in, so I'm leaving the door open. You know, you can see it there, yeah. Anyway, one more eye product, it's really a brow product, is the Eco Brow Defining Gel in Clear. Now, Eco Brow is wonderful. I love their eye pencil. I don't like this gel. Can you see the wand? One side is long bristles, the other side is short, and so one is for applying product, and the other is for brushing through and shaping and it is a clear gel, and I figured out I prefer more of a waxy product for my brows. This isn't quite like a hairspray. You can hear my dog's pitter-patter and sneezing. You, um, anyway, okay. So this is definitely a gel. You just brush it into your brows after you've used a colored pencil or not, just if you just wanna hold your brows in place, except that it's not really a gel, I mean, not really gel. It's not the kind of gel that holds your brows in place like, you know, those gels that are more like a hairspray that make your brows hard. And it's not a gel that's like a waxy formula that really kind of molds them into place, but it's still movable. It's a gel that holds them in place for a little while but it's still shiny on my brows. It looks shiny and reflective. And then once it dries down, it's still shiny, but if I touch my brows, it will flake and get in my eyes and all around here. And I feel like it looks like I have dandruff. Also, too much product comes out. I've tried to use just a little bit. I'll sometimes go back in with an, my own spoolie to try to get product out. So I just don't like this product. I have one lip product. It's the Kiss My Face Coconut Pineapple SPF 15 Lip Balm. I love a lip balm with SPF, and I like Kiss My Face. I like the scent. It's just coconutty. Not at all overwhelming. It smells more like the product than the scent, which I like. But this is so soft, you can't hardly like roll it up, um, you know, twist it up and put it on your lips. If I were to put this on my lips right now, a whole chunk of it would come off. It's so soft and I live in Colorado where it's cold and most things are hard. This product stays soft. I don't know what it would be like in real heat if it would just melt into liquid or not, but it's just far too soft. It's goopy. So I won't use it. The last two products are the same. Ooh, they're not the same. No, they are the same. <laughs> I'll show you what just happened in a second. So this is the No Miss Nail Polish. So it's a clean nail polish brand. And what happened is I was looking at one like this and one like this, and I thought I just bought the same color in two different brands. But no, I bought the same color in the same brand twice because I bought this, it chips after one day, doesn't stay on, and I used it multiple times, decided to de did to declutter it, 
bought the same color and the same brand. Didn't realize it. I think it was like a year later. Same thing. This product just doesn't wear well. That's it. It just chips almost immediately. I tried different clear top coats, different brands of top coats that have worked well with other products. Didn't help this at all. So this no miss nail polish is a total miss in my opinion. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing some products that I'm just not able to force myself through. If you have any questions about any of them or you disagree with me, I'd love to read your comments down below. Of course, I'm going to list everything in the section below as well in case you're curious about them. They'll provide a link, no affiliate links or anything. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see from me in the future, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, hit the ring bell notification, and in the meantime, try to make some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.